Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you some new items that I picked up at the drugstore and at Walmart. And I went to Rite Aid and Walmart and Walgreens. So I went three places total and I just picked up some new items that I saw and I'm excited to share them with you. So let's go ahead and go on into this video and I'll show you the cool stuff that I got. So the first thing that I picked up was at Rite Aid and it was these two lipsticks. And these are from Wet n Wild. And this first one is just a nudie pink color and it's in 503C. Will you be with me? And this is the color. It's just a nice kind of nudie pink color. And there's a swatch of it right here. It's the bottom swatch. And it's just this light pink shade. Very natural, very neutral. And it's super flattering on a lot of different skin tones. The next color that I picked up is very different from this one, and this one's called 15 Minutes of Flame, and it's 517C, and this is the color, just this super hot pink color, and swatches on the top there, and these swatches are not even doing these colors justice, but they are super pretty and I'm super excited to play around with them. I noticed that Wen Wild had a ton of new lipsticks out, so I did just pick these two up, but there were a ton that they had available. Okay, so the next place that I went to was Walmart, and I picked up two things there. The first item that I picked up was the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, and I'd heard really good things about the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm not sure if this is the correct one or not. I don't think it is. I'm thinking that maybe there's a different one. Correct me if I'm wrong because I really don't know. But this is in 888 Pearlized Black, and this is the only color that they had available there, and it's just, um, it's just kind of like a charcoaly black with kind of like silver glitter shimmer in it. So, not really what I was looking for, but I'd heard good things about the NYC liner, so I was excited to try it, and I really needed a new black liner. So, I picked this one up, we'll see how it goes. I don't really think it's an everyday type of color, but yeah, we'll, we'll try it out and we'll see. The next item that I picked up is from Maybelline, Maybelline and it is the um, Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation for normal to oily skin. So Maybelline recently came out with two new foundations and one is like a dewy finish and one's a matte finish and I love matte foundation and I picked this one up and it's in 112 Natural Ivory and that's the um, container for it and the color is listed at the top and I am wearing it today and I wore it yesterday and I really really like it. I think it's my new go-to foundation. The only thing that I don't like about it is like the top and it's a glass bottle you can't squeeze it out nothing you just kind of have to pour a little bit on the back of your hand and then kind of blend it in but it is a very nice foundation and it does really leave you matte and I really like it okay so moving on to Walgreens I actually just got back from there and I picked some new things up the first thing that I picked up is the sinful colors nail polish and it is in love sprinkles and I got it because I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day I'm not sure how well you can see it but it's just this light 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 pinkish clear color and it's just got these little glittery hearts in it and I thought that it was so pretty so I'm not I can't pick a heart up on here I don't think on the brush but it's just got like little pink and white glitter sprinkles in it it's really hard to tell but I'm excited to use that and play around with it and I do believe that this one is new also correct me if I'm wrong for that Moving on, the next thing that I picked up were these new lashes from KISS, and they are True Volume 100% Natural Hair Lashes in Ritzy. And I just thought that this style was super unique and super cool, and I really love the KISS lashes, so I'm excited for these. And it came with a bonus free eyeliner. The next product is from Milani, and this is a repurchase, and this is the iTech Extreme um, Liquid Eyeliner. It's waterproof and non-feathering in 01 Blackest Black, and I'll just go ahead and open this up for you. I actually just used the one that I had before up. I used it up today, but this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a felt tip pen, and it's super black and super thin line. It's so pretty. Can't really see that very well. Sorry. But there it is. It's very nice. 
one of my new favorite eyeliners actually the next item that I picked up is also another eyeliner and this is from Jordana and this was new and it's a cat eyeliner in 01 black leather and they actually had a ton of these in different colors there's like green and purple and blue and like a goldish color and I've never tried this before well like I said it's new so I couldn't have tried it before but um the lady at Walgreens said that she had tried it and that it was a pretty thin formula, but she really liked it. So, how does this work? Okay, so the the formula is in this bottom part, and then the brush is right here, and it looks just like just a little tiny brush. So let's see how black this is. Ooh, wow. That's a very thin formula, but it's very, very black. It's blacker than even the Milani. So that's cool. Excited to play around with that. I've got three more products and these are all lip products. Um, the first one is from CoverGirl and CoverGirl just brought back their CoverGirl Queen collection which is super cool. Like I remember seeing that when I was younger and I thought that it was pretty neat that they made it. But um, I did, I picked this lip color up and it is in Q6110 and it's the Colorlicious Starlit Sand and this is what it looks like. And it's just this super pretty kind of pink gold color. And it's a doe foot applicator. And it's got kind of like a vanilla-y scent to it. Let's swatch it. It's got a kind of nice color to it. It's pretty sheer, but it's a nice pink color. You can kind of see glistening at the top there. Okay, so the next two products that I have, like I said, are lip products. Um, one is from Milani, and it is their matte um, lipstick collection. And this is in 63 Matte Diva beautiful gold packaging just like their regular lipsticks and this is what it looks like so hot pink kind of almost matches my fingers there but um there's a whole line of these lipsticks and this is the one that I picked out they didn't have very many at my Walgreens so it's more of a blue tony pink this is it next to the wet and wild one which you can see isn't as blue toned as this one from Milani right here so that's pretty I really love the regular Milani lipstick, so I'm excited to play around with this one. The last product that I picked up is the Rimmel Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color, and I'd seen these on Instagram, and I was so entranced by it. Look how pretty that is. It's got like the color on one side, and then this side is like to lock it and shine it and stuff. I don't really know. So this is in um, let's see what color was this? 120 Pucker Up. And they had a ton of different colors of these as well. So it's kind of got kind of a cupcakey scent to it, I'd say. But that is what it looks like, a doe foot applicator. And this is the colored side. So that's pretty. It's kind of like the Color Girl Queen one, but a little more brownie. So this is the Color Girl Queen, and this is the Rimmel. And you can kind of see it's just a little more brown than the Cover Girl Queen, which is more peachy pink. Okay, so the second part right here is a doe foot applicator as well. And that, I can't place what the smell is, but it does have a scent to it. And it looks just kind of like a clear type of jelly. And I guess you just put this, it says step two lock and shine. So I guess you just apply this on top of the color. Oh, that's really sticky. I just swatched a little bit. You won't see it because it's clear, but I just swatched a little bit up there. And it's very sticky. So then I guess you just wipe it over the color and it's supposed to lock it in place. I don't know, I'll have to play around with this, but it seemed interesting and honestly the packaging is what sold me, so we'll play around with that, we'll see what we think. All right, so that is all that I picked up at the drugstore and Walmart. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know down below what products you've seen, what products you're excited for, for like spring and summer, all this stuff is coming out, what stuff you've seen at your local drugstore. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.